Hi, I'm Nick Summers and we're here today at uh, Cambridge Consultants. Now, typically this is an R&D company, but they've got something pretty unusual for us today. Apparently they've managed to combine a espresso machine with a traditional beer tap. So we're expecting some pretty unusual pints here today. Let's go inside and check them out. Hi, I'm here with uh, Edward Brunner, who's head of food and beverage systems for Cambridge Consultants. Uh, thanks for taking the time out to speak with us. First of all, Cambridge Consultants isn't a company that most people will have heard of, the everyday person. Can you just say, what do you guys normally do? Like, what are you guys all about? So we do product development uh, on behalf of our clients. So we work like an extension of their own R&D capability, but bringing new skills, experience from different markets, and uh, kind of a fresh approach to solving the, the most difficult problems, creating the most innovative and radical new products. Okay, but for beer, I and mean, in particular, you know, pulling pints, is this something quite new for you, or have you ever done anything like this before? Uh, we have done some projects in beer before, uh, but this is the first kind of on-trade beer dispensing system that we've done. And we, we wanted to kind of build on the consumer trend of personalisation. Uh, and in the, the beer world, that's kind of manifested itself in, in craft beer. So lots of microbreweries, the, the big breweries kind of creating a really wide range of beers now available. But we wanted to try and do something a little bit different. Um, and so that's why we started this investigation and to see how we can extract flavour from hops uh, and, and you know just challenge the existing processes that are used in the industry. Yes, yeah, so can you explain what this is and how it came about? Did someone come to you or was this something that was an internal idea that was sort of blossomed? Yes, yeah, so this was an internal idea and uh, it happened when a colleague and I, an engineer and I were, were talking about uh, beer and it would be fantastic to do something in this area and he told me about, uh, he, he's into his brewing, home brewing himself uh, and he told me about a process called dry hopping and that's where a pub or a, or a brewery uh, throws a handful of hops into a keg of beer leaves it for up to two weeks and over that time uh, the, the beer is infused with a lot of the flavours and, and aromas that, that you get from the hops. Um, and thought, wow, that's really interesting. Let's see how we can uh, kind of use that fundamental concept but, but put it into a different form, change the process slightly. Um, so we, we got into, we, we started a program that we call uh, science-led innovation, where we try and get under the skin of, of a process and how we can challenge it. So we looked at what temperature could do, what agitation could do, what pressure could do to accelerating that dry hopping process. And we found that, that pressure uh, had a big impact in that it would really accelerate that, that process out. Um, and so with that kind of core understanding, we then moved into developing this system, uh, which kind of embodies that fundamental principle. Right, so can you explain what this is, uh, what you've done to the beer font in particular? Like, yeah, what, what are we looking at? So, we, we, uh, as is classic with what we do in terms of transferring knowledge from different markets, we kind of look to the coffee world where, you know, um, espresso coffee is all about pressure. Um, and we, what we've done is fundamentally combined a, a beer tap with uh, the, the brew head from an espresso machine. Right. Uh, there's a bit of technology in there just to kind of manage a few of the technical challenges in there. Uh, but we've effectively got the beer line coming in, we're upping the pressure with the pump, uh, and then that's flowing into our brew chamber where the, that, that beer is coming through the, the bed of hops uh, at a high pressure um, when it's first hitting them. And that pressure is extracting a lot of the oils and flavours uh, from the hops, and so it's instantaneously flavouring the beer. Um, and so rather than having to wait the two weeks, we're doing it right at the point of dispense absolutely instantly. One of the things I think is great about it is, you know, dry hopping, I assume you need to know something about brewing to be able mm -hmm. to do it properly mm -hmm. and perhaps have proper machinery for it, whatever. But this, the idea being that any barman could be ready to pull this and it's going to, you know, it should be quite accessible and approachable, right? Yeah, exactly. And I think what, what I like about it, it's simple to use, but the consumer going into the bar or the pub just gets more of an experience and so much closer to what you get in a coffee shop where you're getting that whole experience of things happening, the barman kind of not just opening a path. Uh, tap and pouring the pint uh, that they're getting something more and so it's a much more theatrical kind of experience so uh, that's another kind of really nice aspect to this I think. So it's almost lunchtime. so I think we can justify putting some pints maybe. Should we take this thing for a spin? Absolutely so really simple for the uh, bar staff to use uh, it's a, having kind of worked out what hops you want to uh, put with your beer uh, just pull open the porter filter uh, pop in the the hops these are uh, just crushed hops, um, so we're increasing the, the surface area a little bit. That simply goes on there, and we can start pulling our pint. And there it is. 
The sweet, sweet nectar. <laughs> So we've got two glasses here, mm -hmm. one of which has gone through the tap without the extra hops, yep. and the second one which has gone through with the additional process. Exactly. Um, so we're going to taste them now and see what differences are like, yeah? That's right. So this is the original one without the additional hops. So yeah, the, the beer tap is uh, 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 designed such that you don't have to put any hops in it, so you can really personalise it from the stock beer. Yeah, and so that's like a traditional pint, mm -hmm. um, yeah, slightly flatter flavour, um, yeah. but yeah, still, still very nice. So this is the second one with the additional hops put in. Now, can you just talk about which hops have, have been added and yeah, what, so what they should be doing to the, to the we, to We've the used a combination of Cascade and Centennial hops here, uh, and that's giving a nice punchy hoppy flavour, um, and nice and floral, and you know much more like the, the much hoppier uh, kind of IPAs that you, you are getting more and more of these days. So by adding different hops or different amounts of hops, can you change this flavour a little bit, or what kind of customization can you do? Yeah, exactly. So you could put different varieties of hops, all which have slightly different uh, kind of flavours, some more citrus, some more uh, floral, and you could vary the amount of hops as well. So you can really, you know, really play tunes with, with what it is that you want to give the consumer. So this was an R&D project. Mm -hmm. What is the future for Hoppia? Is this something we're going to see in pubs, in bars in the future? Like, what are your hopes for it? Yeah, so I certainly hope so. So we've taken it to this first proof of concept prototype stage. Uh, and so now we're, we're uh, starting discussions with uh, the big alcohol brands and uh, the, the beer uh, breweries um, to then partner with them to, to take it to the next stage probably starting with uh, kind of infield trials uh, before then optimizing the design for you know, a proper rollout. So thank you very much for having us. Thank you for the demonstration. And uh, yeah, I think we'll leave it there. So without further ado. Cheers. Cheers. So after it takes off, the landing gears retract up above the platform and that allows you to get a full 360 degree rotation of the camera.